be better, something so good to do, go to one hole and hit a number of different type of shots to the same hole. That's how you're gonna get better at your short game and more creative, okay? Today we're gonna to talk about the spots that we pick, all right? Now, the shot you're gonna hit is really a combination of two things. Number one, the shot itself will pick the shot that needs to be hit. The hole itself, the situation. When you guys are practicing at home, I want you to make sure you hit to different, different shots, different holes, and we're trying to get the club, the ball to within a club length, okay? If we get it within a club length, our putting is good, we're gonna cover that in a minute, right? We're gonna be getting up and down all over the place. Here's one thing I want to remind all of the viewers out there, that a golf ball rolling on the green is a lot more consistent than a golf ball flying in the air to the hole, okay? All that means is my miss, when I pick the higher shot and carry it further, is gonna be a little more off than my lower shot, okay? So here's the thing, let's define that high shot and low shot, okay? The low shot is a golf ball that is going to spend about a third of its life in the air and two thirds of its life on the green rolling, okay? The high shot, is gonna be reversed. We're gonna go about two thirds of the way in the air and have it roll very shortly. We know we're going to the second flag. Jeff, come on and take a walk with me, okay? When we're trying to find spots and we're trying to use as much green as possible for consistency, what we're looking for is just that. A nice consistent area, the first available spot, okay? So as I come into this green, if I were to put a big hula hoop right here, I could hit the ball here, 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 or here, and it's all gonna turn out relatively the same and consistent. Here's how we do this. We've got our spot, all right? We're gonna get our favorite towel out here, and we're gonna put it right on our spot to help us identify it. Got our nice Porzak golf towel, okay? And we said that again, looking for that first available spot of consistency, okay? Somewhere right around here. And we're gonna make a mark from where the 50% mark of the entire shot is. So 50% of that whole shot, Jeff, come back here. This is when you see players on the side of the green, the side of the hole, trying to get a look and a view at this shot, okay? So we've got our shot from our ball all the way to our hole, right? And now, where's the halfway point, Jeff? Somewhere like here-ish. Perfect, somewhere right around here, right? So what this tells us is this, that the spot we just chose is less than halfway, so immediately my mind goes to a lower shot, a ball that's gonna roll longer and fly in the air a shorter amount of time, okay? So that's gonna help lead us into our setup. Now, the trajectory of the shot is really controlled primarily by your setup okay, your ball position and your club face angle, all right? Our ball position will move forward and backwards, closer to our front foot, closer to our back foot, and even further from our back foot, okay? So for a low shot, I wanna make sure this ball gets by my back foot. Now, my hands are always right in the middle of my body. My hands will be in the same spot every time, okay? So I've got my ball back, my hand's just in front of my right leg here, and now I'm gonna make sure that my club face is a little bit more squared up. What that looks like on the way back is it looks like the club face stays looking at the golf ball, okay? That's what allows me to drive that ball right out on my line, nice and low, boom, okay? I'm gonna want him to get all of his weight on the front foot. Okay, yes, and I want you guys to watch how he did that. Go ahead and set up again where you were. There's two ways to get your weight forward, which is a huge focal point in the short game. One way is bumping the hips forward. Now, this is not the way we wanna do it in the short game because what happens is the upper body then falls back. It really opens up the opportunity for us to get underneath the golf ball heavy or hit it thin. Okay, what Jeff did is he took his upper body and he shifted his upper body over his left foot. All right, that now took his low point, put it right in front of the golf ball and allowed the club a much easier time to fall down onto the golf ball, okay? So go ahead and Jeff, get a couple practice swings in there. We're gonna shift the upper body over the front foot. Awesome, we're creating some really nice angles. There we go, dude, beautiful, okay? Fantastic, let's get in there. Let's put that ball even kind of by your back pinky toe, okay? Go ahead and move it even a little further back for me. There we go, now we're talking. The hands are still in the same spot. 
the weight is left. Good. And we're just going to take this club up and down right on top of the golf ball. Boom. There it is. All right. Hit it right on the towel. Ball's rolling just towards the hole. Even our bad shots, when we pick the right spot, when we pick the right shot in the setup, even our bad shots will be two or three feet. Really, really good, dude. The ball's coming out much lower, much cleaner, a much smaller swing, right, and a lot more consistency. I've got a great giveaway idea, too. So we just got our new Porzak golf hats in, right? I don't even know if you've seen these yet with the script. They're so hot. Here's the thing. Right. Jeffrey Kim, our man here, also was a sneak preview in a previous YouTube. You remember that day a long time ago, right? Um, we showed a couple swings of him. We mentioned him. We showed his great swing up on the TV. The first person who, in the comments section, is going to post a link to that video. I have no idea where it is or when it is, okay? But I know we got some really dedicated fans out there that love to scour our stuff. First person to find Jeffrey Kim in the other YouTube video that he made a cameo in, hitting some bomb drivers, is going to get shipped out one of these brand new, beautiful Porzak off script hats, okay? So that's going to come um, at the end of the day. We're going to make sure that happens and gets okay. in there. Now, let's talk about if this towel was a bunker. So here's the bunker edge. We're using our imagination here, guys. Okay, there's a bunker right here to this first flag. So the green doesn't start till here. So is this a good spot? No, this is not a good spot because if I miss my spot by a couple feet, guess what? I'm in the bunker. Okay, so again, we're looking for areas of consistency. All of a sudden now I'm past the bunker a little bit. I'm feeling a little better. Wow, well, there's a lot of green here. I could hit it right here, right? Probably a pretty good spot. Okay, we're going to throw our towel down here. We're going to do the same thing, and we're going to, again, we've picked our spot, our first available consistent area, and now where's that halfway point? We get back here, we look at the overall shot itself. Probably halfway somewhere here, which means we're over the 50% mark. Now we're hitting Jeff's bread and butter, the higher shot. Okay, and again, the spot we've picked has led to the setup we're making and the shot we're hitting, okay? So let's go back here. The chest and the upper body is leaning forward, but where do we have to put that ball now that we're going higher? Uh, more in the front of the stance. More by the front foot, okay? The ball position is so important in the short game. It really presets the shots we're trying to hit, all right? So the ball's gonna be more forward. The club face may be a little open, but look at this. Jeff's hands are exactly in the same spot they were, okay? And this is one of my favorite sayings for a high shot, you guys. Outside with the club and open. Look at the toe pointing more up to the sky. Now I can let this club fall down and I'm gonna have this ball pop right up. No chance of the undercut or the thin, all right? So this club face will look very different as I go out and open down and left and wow that ball pops up really nice and high and soft okay this is what's going to give you the freedom to be more aggressive through that shot and not have to kind of be so delicate like we were before okay toe up high shot on the way back boom attack it there we go see that those are the most solid ones you've hit all day Whew. almost got rewarded for it too very very different I've got to do this as simply as possible and all that means my elbows are going to stay in front of my body my arms are then gonna stay connected to my chest and my chest's turn will move my arms and my club, okay? So I get in here, my ball is forward, my club face is open. I'm just gonna move my chest, which is gonna move my arms. And now I'm gonna see a really solid, high, soft shot there pop out, feeling very similar to what I was in the low shot, okay? Biggest difference in those, the low shot, the angles create such efficiency, I don't need a big swing. Okay, when I get the high shot, I need more energy to get the ball up in the air so my swing will get a little bigger. Now, one thing I like people to know, you're never hitting one of these shots. We're simply letting the club swing and do the work, okay? We're moving the club by moving our chest and by in moving our chest, moving our arms, okay? Because of that connection right here. So we're gonna get back here, go one, two same high shot boom landed right on the towel game. we just talked about two shots right and we did them to the same hole okay this is an incredible thing to help your creativity your imagination your visualization down here around the greens those are the most important things okay we've got to know what we want to have happen and then we got to make it happen so right now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit a low one all right, I'm going to feel my arms connected, my weight back, my chest leaning. I'm going to go to that second hole. 
Boom, ball gets out there, rolls up there. Okay, gonna hit one more low one. Okay, good, and now I'm gonna go to the same hole and I'm gonna hit a different shot. Now I'm gonna put that ball forward. Now I'm gonna open my club face. Now I'm gonna let this club swing a little bit more and get that ball higher and softer. Wow, okay, what could be better? Something so good to do. Go to one hole and hit a number of different type of shots to the same hole. That's how you're gonna get better at your short game and more creative, okay? Pretty nice right there, good. And the last high one of the day. I called bank. <laughs> Boom, fantastic bud. Really, really nice, way better, huh? Yeah. Awesome dude. Hey, so you guys remember this face? I want you to look through all the old videos when you see this guy pop up. Get the copy of the link, throw it in our comment section. You got a brand new Porzak golf hat coming your way, okay? Hey, way to go.